Yes, Mrs. Copperthwaite. He'll be there by half past. Yes, he'll beep his on. Yes, you'll hear it, love. Bye. Morning. <sighs> and was it three hours to the airport, four hours back, no tip? You're joking. Got a bad feeling about today. You heard from Tracy? Nope. Which either means she's calmed down and slept on it, or she's building up to one hell of a showdown. Which do you think? This is Tracy we're talking about. Listen, I'll get someone to cover your shift today. You get off, sort it out. I'm not sure whether I can face it yet. I'm knackered. Well, go to the Rovers. Have a kit. Stella's out all morning. You'll have the place to yourself. Cheers, mate. You're a lifesaver. Maybe literally. The least I can do. It was me that dropped you in it. Uh, in your fault, it's me. I never get it right. Streetcars. Decent brew. That's what you need. That stuff they serve in hospitals like water and uh, loads of sugar. Ah, now then, do you want to... Uh, you manage anything to eat? Look, maybe some toast or... <laughs> oh... <laughs> I forgot they were there. I'm so sorry. I've lost them, Mum. I've lost my babies. Oh. Is that all that's left? Three? Yep. Oh, nice one. And even if we can't shift these, we're still quids in. No. Oh, can't remember the last time I had money in my pockets. Nah, me neither. In fact, I'm thinking about buying Izzy a present. Something nice. I've seen this buggy, right? Four position seat, aluminium frame, lockable front swivel wheels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn up at buggy. I'm a dad bar, aren't I? Uh, yeah. That's so funny. He is. Kit, I've seen this buggy, right? Come on, Daddy O, let's go. Extendable car first. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. See you later. See ya. Morning. How's the tree? Oh, I think it's safe to say it'll be the best decorated tree in Weatherfield. Mary and I spent nearly four hours on it last night. Layering, you see. That's the secret. Getting the correct balance between tinsel and bowls. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Right. Yep, see you, Norris. See you. Bye. good advert for a hairdresser's, is it, this? I mean, a bald tree. It's going to take us forever to sweep up them needles. Well, we better get going, because Mrs. Ramarada's due. Come on. Right, I'll put kettle on then. Maria, do you know, I think I'm going to chuck this in the back with all the other rubbish. There's no water. Oh, what do you mean, there's no water? There's no water coming out of the taps. Oh. Oh. Told you. Oh, Maria, try that tap in the basin. Oh, oh, I don't believe this. What's happened? I don't know what's happened, do I? David, call the plumber. Grant, what if? Look, don't argue, just do it. Grill's on right, lots of work. Hi, love. Oh, you're bright and early. Early, I don't know about bright. What's up? Oh, what's always up? No, Steve. What have you done? I tried to seduce him. Becky. He said no. Good, I'm pleased. He was this close to saying, yeah. And what have he had? Would you have had an affair with him behind Tracy's back while she's pregnant? I know, I know. He's not yours anymore, Becky. You've got to get over him. I've tried. Hayley, you know I have tried everything, but it's like he has dug this little hole in my brain and I can't get him out of there. Well, you're going to have to sooner or later. They've got two babies on the way. Yeah, and if it weren't for them babies... Becky. No, 
No, it's true, he doesn't love Tracy, so if she wasn't pregnant, we'd be back together by now. Yeah, well, she is. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean it. Leave well alone, OK? Why did it have to happen? I don't know, love. Is it my fault? Oh, of course not. What if it was something I did? The doctor said it, he doesn't know why it happens. It's just... Nature says it's... It's not time. We were hoping for boys. Luke after Steve's uncle. And Ray after Dad. Lucas and Raymond. Our little boys. Sweetheart. <laughs> we have to call Steve and Ken. No. We... we we have to tell them. I can't tell Steve. I know it's hard. No, you don't understand. Lo I can't. Love. Now that I've lost the babies, he'll leave me. Don't be daft. No, he will. He was only with me because of them. Now that they've gone, he'll leave. I've lost everything, <sighs> Mum. Everything that I ever wanted. Of course he's not going to leave you. He loves you. Oh, no, he doesn't. Of course he does. He was with Becky last night. What? In a hotel. How do you know this? Because Carl told me. I went looking for him. And that's when it happened. Are you sure they would... Look, he lied to me about where he was. And he hasn't come back all night. It doesn't take a genius. Well, he still has to know about the babies. Right. Well, I'll go and tell him. And then I'm packing a bag. Tracy? I can't stick around to watch him get back with her. Not after everything that's happened. I can't, ma'am. I really can't. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Ramaraja. I really wouldn't risk a dry cup with your lovely thing. Okay. Yeah, I am well, sorry. We need one today. I'll phone you when it's like I know it's nearly Christmas, mate, but... But well, we're busy as well. Oh, forget it then. Grant, I can't get a plumber. I've tried everybody in the book. Oh, Maria, you better start cancelling all the customers. Come on. What's going on? Don't ask. We've got no water. Mm. How come? I've been asking myself the same thing. What do you mean? Well, let's just say I smell a rat, and that rat has got piggy eyes in a pond. Hi! Oh, Sophie, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we've got no water. We're going to have to cancel. But it's the practice run for the wedding. Yeah, we'll just have to do it another time. Our drive took the morning off. Why don't you do it at our house? What? With your head over the kitchen sink? Why not? Bring all the chairs, the dryers, all the gubbins. That way you'd have to cancel any appointment. Don't talk ridiculous, Kyla. I think it's a genius idea. You would. No, actually, Audrey, she has got a point. I mean, we don't know how long the water's going to be off here, do we? But what would Gail say when she gets back from Milan? She won't mind. Fine by me. Well, I suppose we've got nothing to lose, have we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're not open yet. All right, Tracy. Is Steve here? Uh, no. Where is he? No idea. Carl, please, this is important. Well, he went on an airport run an all-nighter, so... Right, so is he back? Yeah. So where is he? He's with Becky, isn't he? No. I thought you said you didn't know where he was. Well, no, I don't, but I know he's not with her. He's told you to cover for him, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. You've been covering for him the whole time. All of you. Everybody's been laughing at me behind my back. No, I swear. No, it's too late. It's too late and it's all her fault. Tracy, you want to calm down? Calm or... down! I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her for what she's done. I am with child. Mind your back, girls. Right, Virgin Mary. Have you learnt your lines yet? Nearly. I'll remember them when I'm on stage. 
All right, Sally, you've done this before. At my old school, we did Cinderella, and I was Cinderella. I had a solo and everything. Oh. Used to the starring role, is this one? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not the star in this. That's Baby Jesus. Oh, I'm moving premises. Oh, we've got no water at the salon. Oh, I'm sorry to be there. Actually, you couldn't have a look for us, could you, Owen? We can't get a plumber for love nor money. Tell you what, I'll do it for love. Oh, would you? What, Gran? You can't let him anywhere near it. Why ever not? Well, because it's his fault he's done something with the pipes. I'm sorry. You're deliberately trying to sabotage my business. I don't know what you're on about, mate. No, of course he does. No, do be quiet, David. Actually, if you could just have a look sometime today, Owen, I would be so grateful. My pleasure, Audrey. I'll do it this afternoon, all right? Bless you. Bless you. You really are a stupid boy. Steve. Steve, wake yeah, up. Yeah. Mate, I think I've dropped you in it again. Oh, God. You need to call your missus. OK, in a minute. Just a minute. Right. Sorry. You can't hide anymore. What are you on about? Where is he? Who? Steve! Come down here now! He's not here. We'll see about that. Just them Norris, please. Thank you. <coughs> oh, and uh, give us some of that red tint to all there. Will you? I take it you didn't buy your tree from Del Boy and Rodney then? You what? Has it still got needles? Oh, it's artificial, yeah. Oh, very wise. Well, hang on a minute, has yours gone bald uh, too? 20 English pounds and four hours hard labour wasted. Put until I clap eyes on them two. Yes, well, you'll have to wait in line. Only a tree. <laughs> Only a tree, he says. I wanted this Christmas to be perfect. Well, compared to last Christmas, I don't think any of us are doing too badly, are we? Eh? Time. Yeah, you're right. Lots of few needles. <laughs> yeah. This time last year, I was smashing the tree up myself. And you was in hospital getting married. Yeah, yeah. Must be nice to be at home with family this year. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. What are you guys doing Christmas Day? Oh, I don't know, Ty, just probably going out with dad's. No, oh, all the barlows together. Yes, yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Carla? Eight me? Oh, I'll be just jump on a plane somewhere, I reckon. Oh, yeah, where? Don't know, wherever the mood takes me. See, that's the joy of being single, Tyrone. No families to try and please. Keep the change nice. Oh, right. Mm, all right for some, eh? See, he's not here. He must be. Well, why don't you try it under the settee? Oh, maybe behind this cushion. Do not mock me. I know you were together last night. What? In that hotel. Carl told me. That was business. Yeah. Well, I know what kind of business. Tracy, you've just been absolutely ridiculous as ever. You've taken him from me. You got your clothes back into him and you've taken him. How could you? Oi, I swear to you, nothing happened. How long has it been going on for? Oh, I mean, did it ever stop? Has he ever been faithful to me? Yeah, he has. No, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. Well, you still want him. Admit it. No. Liar! I don't. Admit it! All right. Yes, all right, then, yeah. Yeah, I still want Steve. <sighs> I knew it. And last night, I laid it on a plate for him. I said, come on, let's get a room, let's go. Because I love the bones of that man, and yes, I would do anything to get him back. But he said no. He said no to me, he chooses you. And you know why? Because you're giving him something that I never can, so don't you even worry about it, Tracy. He's all yours. You all right? Stay away from me. I've got people coming round. I can't afford another one. Well, you shouldn't have to, Eileen. None of us should. Missed a bit. I'm so good at kill Chesney when I see him. I told Tyrone they were dodgy. You get an eye for him, my game. They are so giving us a refund. Mm. Plus damages. And you can't claim damages. I've got needles in my underwear. I'm risking injury just sitting here. Maria, it needs another coat. Oh, Kylie! Oh, look what you made me do. Ah, oh, don't worry. Gail's not house proud. <sighs> I could do your next client. You don't work here anymore. I mean, there any... Oh, would well, you know what I mean? Well, it's because of her you're working at all. Oh. I suppose. One client. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be them. Oh. 
Afternoon, ladies. Oh, Owen, did you manage to look at me plumbing? I did, love, and I'm afraid there seems to be a blockage. Oh, you surprised me. What sort of blockage? Well, I won't know that until I get in and open up the pipes. Oh, no. When can you do that? Well, I need to call my plumbing contractor for the tools, and then, of course, there might be replacement parts, which I don't have. Well, when can you get them? Might not be till after Christmas now, I'm afraid, love. What? Grant, it's him. I'm telling you, it's all him. Look. Whatever you can do to hurry things up, Owen, I will be eternally grateful. I'll do my best. Yeah. And remember, there's a year's free haircut in it for you. What? No, Grant's motivation. <laughs> we'll be in touch. Oh, such a nice man. Whew. What happened? Um, I'm not sure. She fell down the stairs. I think she fainted. OK. What's her name? It's Tracy. Um, she's five months pregnant. Hello, Tracy. I'm Robin. Can you hear me? Don't move your head. I need you to keep really still. Do you understand? Mm. Good girl. Don't worry. You're in good hands. We're going to take you to hospital, check you over. I'll come with you. No. What was that? I don't want her anywhere near me. I can't believe we sold them for 25. Well, we're that close to Christmas that folk are desperate. We should get some more in. Yeah, you are a genius. Well, put it there, partner. Oh, I smell new customers. I've been waiting for you to get back. How dare you? Hey, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What's falling off more like? That tree you've sold me has gone completely bald. Bald? Yes, bald. As bald as my unfortunate pate. Oh, it must have been a dodgy one. Yeah, we've got another. You can have it. I don't want another disease, can't I, well, not all like that. Oi! Chuckle Brothers. Oh, money back. And me. Yeah, and me. You gotta be kidding me. We want a refund. Hmm, and more. We can't. Why can't you? I could report you. you no, 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 please. We can't have the cops involved. Then what are we gonna do? Well, we gotta give them the money back. I can't, I need it. We've got no choice, mate. Uh, what's going on? I pity your little one with a role model like that. You what? Uh, just a slight hiccup with the trees. So what are you gonna do about it? All right, all right, so your boost. You'll all get a refund. And? And a fiver compensation. <laughs> we'll bring it round and. Take away any trees that you don't want, free of charge, obviously. Mm, very generous. Yeah, it is so. Can you get out, please? Yeah. Go on, can you get out of my house? Yeah. Five a compensation. Well, what else could I do? That's all my money gone. And me? I really needed it, Gary. What, and I didn't? Chez, don't worry about the buggy. It's not just the buggy. I still owe your dad. Yeah, he'll understand. I don't want him to understand. I want to prove that I can look after you. This job was about me standing on my own two feet, branching out. <laughs> <laughs> What? Let's just hope they don't call special branch, HS. <laughs> Oi, Rip Van Winkle. Hey. Thought you'd gone. What time is it? Time you sorted out your love life. Come on, I've already protected you from one angry female, but Stella's on her way, and she's hardcore. Surely that should say experience essential. Well, why? Because we've employed machinists that haven't had any experience before. Yeah, and regretted it. No, 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 change it. And just cut out the bit about the salary. Just put attractive package for the right applicant. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, uh, not interrupting, am I? Oh, please do. I just wanted to have a word about uh, the uh, that surprise, you know, for Leanne. Oh, Christmas gift. Ah, uh, yes, something like that. Mm. Do you want to go on your lunch, Michelle? Oh, thought I'd never ask. Oh. See ya! See ya. Surprise for Leanne. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. First thing that popped into my mind. What would Freud say about that? Are you, uh... He might say that you wanted her to find out about us. Are you really going to go away at Christmas? What does that matter? Oh, come on, it matters. It, it matters a lot. Well, I'm not going to be able to see you anyway, am I? I don't know, or maybe... I... Listen, Peter, it is hard enough for me to imagine you with her as it is, let alone spending Christmas apart and me tying myself in knots. I'll find a way to see you. Peter, I don't want to put you under that kind of pressure. And if I'm away... Then, then yes, then I'll be tying myself in knots. I'll find a way to see you on Christmas Day, I promise. Just here. Thank you. Oh, look, I'm so sorry. I didn't get the message. Too late. This is all your fault. 
Are you all right, Trace? Yeah, no thanks to you. What were you doing with Becky's? I thought you spent the night with her. Oh, no. You didn't come home? Oh, God, Tracy, I'm sorry. Please tell me the babies are okay. They're okay, aren't they? Oh, God, Tracy. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, what's happened? She pushed me. What? Becky pushed me down the stairs. She's killed our babies. Things may be bleak for Tracy right now, but will Chesney and Katie's Christmas be brighter? Find out from actors Sam Aston and Georgia May Foote at itv.com slash Corrie. A live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special is here at 8.30, not to be missed. Nor is what's coming next. Lots of festive food guidance in Countrywise Kitchen. Uh -huh.